All right, we're talking about the automatic transmission and the Crown Vic. See a lot of questions posted online about the overdrive versus the not overdrive. I think the first three are pretty self-explanatory. Park, obviously, is park. R is reverse, we're going to back up, and is neutral, so the transmission's not engaged, the car can be pushed, can also be started from neutral. But the last three gears are the ones that everybody seems to have questions about. One is obviously stays in first gear, it does not shift. I've never tried revving it up to the red line to see what happens and I don't recommend that you do that either but basically the transmission will stay in first gear probably very limited application for this in everyday driving two believe it or not stays in second gear it does not shift between first and second I know some vehicles it will actually shift between first and second in this setting Crown Vic it starts in second gear this is supposedly to aid in starting from icy or really wet slippery conditions uh, again this is probably not something that you're going to use a lot unless you're in those type of conditions and you may need it to start more smoothly when you're driving most of the time you should be in drive this is your four speed transmission. The car will shift between first, second, third, and fourth gear depending on the load. You know, in other words, how much you're pressing the gas pedal, what the vehicle is sensing the, the needs are, and it'll shift gears accordingly. Theoretically, this will also give you the best gas mileage because you'll be shifting into fourth gear, which is overdrive, and the car will be revving the least amount you know at per the miles per hour driven now this little button over here that says OD off if you press that you'll notice the light comes on on the dash and when you are in drive with OD off You've now turned your car into a three-speed transmission. It will shift between first, second, and third gear, but it will not go into overdrive. I see posts all the time, should I drive like this? Why should I drive like this? Honestly, there's really not much of an advantage to doing this. Uh, perhaps if you, and I've never encountered this, so it's just, it's just theoretical, but if you're in a situation where the car is constantly shifting back and forth between fourth gear and third gear and what you might call hunting for a gear if you ran into that situation you might turn over drive off and then it would just stay in third gear uh, perhaps if you were towing a trailer you were going down a steep hill something of that nature you might turn off overdrive but otherwise leave your overdrive on take advantage of the fact that the car will shift into fourth gear which is your overdrive and you'll get better gas mileage and when your car needs the extra power of third gear or second gear or first gear even it will shift down and then when it no longer needs it it'll shift back into overdrive hope this video helped if you have any questions post them below thanks